because, you know, after 2019, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Honestly, for me, I thought that 2019 was the best year I ever had in comedy. And the reason why I say this is because I was this close to hosting the Oscars. Yeah. Pretty sure I got a good chance next year. The year that I almost got to host, that was the year that Kevin Hart was supposed to host. And I don't know if you guys remember the story or not, but basically, Kevin Hart was supposed to host the Oscars. And anytime you host, the background check is next level, okay? They go through all of your social media, all the way back to MySpace. <laughs> People over 40, you know what's up. Come to find out that 10 years ago, Kevin Hart had sent out a couple of tweets that were questionable. So the Academy confronted Kevin Hart about the tweets. And they said, Kevin, can you please explain? And Kevin was like, yes, I said those things. I acknowledged them 10 years ago. And I apologized 10 years ago. Can we move forward? And the Academy was like, well, good, Kevin. We're glad that you apologized because they've been brought to our attention again. And we need for this to go away. So we need you to apologize. And Kevin said, you can't make me apologize twice for the same thing 10 years apart. And they said, well, you have to, because if you don't, you cannot host the Oscars. And Kevin said, well, thank you, but no thank you. And he walked away from the job. I would have done the same thing in his position. Because by him apologizing, he gives more power to cancel culture. And we can't give him more. We got to take it back. So. Now, so now the Academy was left with a problem, trying to find a suitable replacement for Kevin Hart, which is not an easy thing to do. So they reached out to a bunch of actors to see if there was interest, and everyone said the same thing. Thank you, but no thank you. We want no part of that Kevin Hart drama. No one wanted the job. Me, on the other hand. <laughs> oh, I recognize a job opening when I see one. So I had my manager call the Academy, and the Academy was thrilled to hear from anyone. <laughs> they were like, Gabriel Iglesias, yes, we know who he is. He's very funny, very witty. We think he would make a good host for the Oscars. Please have him submit some comedy material so we can see what the vibe of the night would be. And based on the material, we'll make our choice. So that's what I did. I sat down one night, got a pen, piece of paper, wrote out a bunch of jokes, and I turned them into the Oscars. And I think that's why they said no.